Hey everyone, finish watching the next episode of Power Rangers Operation Overdrive, Ronnie on Empty Part 2. The Rangers are in Egypt, meanwhile, Norg joins Will and helps him track the fear cats. They find them, but are attacked by lava lizards. Will fights past and goes to rescue Ronnie. The others find a hidden pathway and get chased by bugs. While running away, they bump into Camdor and Miratrix. They fight over a tablet, eventually the bad guys retreat. Will battles Moltor, he gets past and tries to free Ronnie. He frees her from the energy draining device. The others make it but face the Fear Cats. Will and Ronnie join in. The Fear Cats call Sentinel Knight, but he's a good guy again now for some reason. Uh. He fights the Fear Cats while the Rangers form the Battle Fleet Megazord to battle Moltor. Eventually, the bad guys retreat. Norg returns to his cave, and Flurius is mad that he never contacted him when he found the Fear Cats. Norg forgot. Their conversation is interrupted by a doorbell with Trick or Treaters. Trick or Treaters! At the mansion, the Rangers celebrate Halloween by dancing in their costumes. And there's a whole bunch of extras there, and I have no idea who any of these people are. This episode is unengaging. There's some little bits of stuff that I like, but overall, this was a slog. The action choreography is well done as usual. Definitely the saving grace here. The plot is pretty scatterbrained, jumping back and forth from Will and Ronnie to the other rangers. Norg, once again, is the standout. His antics aren't over the top, but he provides some much-appreciated levity from the overwhelmingly action-driven scenes. A lot of questions are left unanswered. Why did the Fear Cats target Ronnie specifically? Does she have some connection to them from being kidnapped before? How does Sentinel Knight break their control and... Also, and this one isn't really as important, but why does Norg's cave in the Arctic have a doorbell? Or, I think it's the Arctic, I don't remember where he is. When Norg finds the Fear Cat's hideout, Will initially gets mad at him because he thinks they're at a dead end. It's kinda weird for the usually chill and collected Will, but he's been under a lot of stress lately. Oddly, Will's feeling of insecurity last episode is pretty much dropped here. It felt like it was building up to a lesson he had to learn, but nope, not a problem, just kind of weird. We learned from this episode that Spencer was a member of the British Royal Navy. Reminds me of my time in Her Majesty's Royal Navy. The Halloween party at the end is a fun scene. It's cool to see everyone's costumes, and some of them say a little bit about who they are, or are just cute little references. Mr. Hartford is dressed in a scientist costume similar to Billy's from back in Zed's Monster Mash. Tizon is dressed as a generic superhero, and he looks a bit like the character Rocky played back in Zeo that one time. Mac is dressed up as a blocky robot. He looks a lot like the robot from Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. He looks so much like that specific robot, I'm curious if he took direct influence from it. Sentinel Knight, oddly, doesn't take part in the Halloween party. I don't know why. <laughs> Pretty bland episode, but with a bit of Halloween tacked on to give it something of substance. That's it for this one, hope you enjoyed it. See ya.